Hey guys! Tonight I want to talk about two things that have been weighing heavily on my mind. Heavily. And when I say heavily, I really mean not at all. <laughs> I get like these like little things that will pop in my head or that I'll come across and they're the stupidest, most pointless things ever, but I think about them and I'm curious. So the first thing that I'm very curious about is pink headlights. I'm driving home last night and behind me comes this SUV and I have a regular car so SUVs like their headlights come right up to eye level. And they have pink headlights. Pink fucking headlights! Is there a purpose other than being ridiculously bright and to annoy the crap out of other drivers on the road. Like, I mean, there's already, I don't even know if this is the right word, so correct me if I'm wrong, like the halogen headlights um, that are ridiculously bright and, like, painful to have to see when I'm driving at night. And then there's these pink ones. They're, like, pink halogen lights. I don't even know what they are. But they're so bright. So if anyone out there has these lights or knows someone that does, do they have, like, an actual purpose other than to be ridiculously annoying because I was in a crappy mood last night so I was like I was practically yelling I was like pink fucking headlights really I was like yelling it in my car to myself right um so I just want to know do they have a do they have a purpose is there anything that they do other than being brighter obviously which is great for seeing at night for yourself not for anyone else who has to look at them so let me know. Do you have these lights? What purpose do they serve? What's your opinion? What's your thought? Whatever. Next, I want to talk about unpopped popcorn. Yes. I am popping popcorn the other day, and I'm looking at the side of the box with the nutritional information. Now, it was split into two columns. The one column said popped popcorn, gave your calories and whatever. And then the other column said unpopped popcorn. And it gave you calories and nutritional information for unpopped popcorn. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't eat unpopped popcorn. I mean, granted, sometimes when you're eating popcorn, you get like that kernel that wasn't completely popped. And generally, I would spit those out. Maybe some people don't. I don't know. But what I want to know is, have you ever eaten unpopped popcorn? If so, why? Or do you use it for other means of cooking, utilizing it in cooking? I don't know. I'm very curious. Uh, so hit me up with that information um, about the pink headlights and about the unpopped popcorn because I'm very curious. And then I also want to leave you guys tonight with um, a couple YouTube channels that I subscribe to and that I quite adore and enjoy a lot. The first one link you'll find below is Jenna Ann. I think I've subscribed to her for maybe almost a year now. She is an amazing singer, musician, songwriter. She has a crap load of videos of covers that she totally twists up and makes her own and they're unreal. Um, so you gotta check her out. Plus she has some originals up as well. And she has another channel as well that I also linked below. Uh, she is extremely inspirational. She t talks about all kinds of topics and just situations and she's just very inspiring and um, an awesome awesome channel to watch so definitely check her out and if you like her tell her I sent you uh, the next one uh, is uh, Scott his link is also below and he posts all kinds of videos about all kinds of things he talks about uh, what his views and opinions are about different things he posts videos about his uh, Glaswegian accent uh, he's over in Scotland so he posts like videos about um, uh, the lingo and, and what how they pronounce different words and how they talk and it's that's really fun to watch and um, he has videos about all other kinds of stuff too as well so definitely check him out um, again tell him I sent you and, and then the music for the day the music for the day is Will Hogue um, Will Hogue is about to release his seventh album called Number Seven on September 27th. 
um, a lot of sevens. I don't know how much of that is on purpose other than the seventh album being called number seven. But anyway. Um, uh, his link is below to his Facebook and as well his regular website. His music is phenomenal. It's a combination of rock, blues, soul, funk. I mean, just a combination of every bit of awesomeness all together. He's from Nashville. Um, so definitely check his stuff out. He's unbelievable. Um, and check out Jenna Ann. Check out Scott. I adore them so much. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. I'm trying to think of anything else that I want to talk about right now. And I don't think so. Um, so yeah, everybody, uh, have a good night. Cheers.